What's up, everybody? Uh, today we are here to talk about Reptile. Reptile's MK1 design, in particular, compared to all his other designs. Today, I, I came prepared with numerous amounts of tabs. But before I talk about that, let's. I really want to uh, talk about fair use in Billy Mitchell. Okay. Now, first thing I would like to say is if you would like to watch the Billy Mitchell deposition video, Simply type in Billy Mitchell deposition. That's how I've just did. Scroll down on Google and type or tap the bit shoot. And there you will find Billy Mitchell's deposition video if you would like to watch it. Unfortunately, on YouTube, they would not let you watch it, even though it is fair use. And I do not agree with their antics. YouTube, please do something about this. I believe everybody has a right to form their own opinion. And you should not let uh, Billy Mitchell nor the Guinness Book of World Records walk all over you. Okay? This guy should not get away scot-free for lying and scamming everybody into thinking he's the greatest video player. Oh, excuse me. Greatest video game player of the century. He should not get away with this. YouTube. Okay. Alright, so that's where you can watch the video. Next, let's go ahead and uh start talking about reptile. Now I've seen a lot of comments of reptile and his look, particularly reptile without his face mask. Very handsome dude, you know, but the thirst traps are unreal. I thought everybody in MK1 was uh, at least decent looking. You know, they're not ugly. Females and males a lot. I like except Tanya's one face that she made. Even with her one face, I didn't think she was terrible, terrible looking in the other shots. It was just a shot that they had of her. But no, no. Men and women, and women, hold the women, they have taken it a step further about reptile space. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to look at any other post because I'm just like, God damn, I know it's going to be about a reptile thirst trap. Which is, you know, I think it's good. I think it's a good take on reptile. Everything about him is good. Unmasked reptile is something that I never thought I'd see in my day. Without seeing some type of lizard face. But it happened. And quite frankly. I'm not upset at it. We get the best of both worlds. Now let's talk. Let's first compare. Um, Let's see here. Let's see what I got here. Oh God. I got some good stuff. I got some good stuff. These are his last four designs. Well, last three designs, and then this is his, uh, including this one, this is his last four designs here. So, all of them have something in common. You see, scaly reptilian skin, it's usually green. Even with this one, it's the same, it's the same case. Okay, reptilian green skin. Sharp teeth right off the back. Now you can't see it here or here, but they have sharp teeth right off the back. Look like a ninja. They give you the best of both worlds combined in one. While in MK1, look at the skin. Only time you knew he was a reptilian monster in what I think Mortal Kombat 2 was when he took off his mask and he spit acid at you or he did his fatality. Same thing is happening uh, here. Only difference is it's not just as simple as taking off the mask. He can change forms. He's a shapeshifter. And the fact that he can change into his human form makes him an outcast among his people. Let's see how much time we got here. I want to make sure we are doing this in a timely manner. We are four minutes in. We're going to uh, spend at least 
10 to 15 minutes talking about Reptiles New Design, which personally I like. Uh, one of the ones I like the most. Not because he is devilishly handsome, you know, like everybody else <laughs> says, but mainly because of the design choices of his outfit. Let's look here. All right. If we can take a quick zoom in. This is MKX Reptile, of course, but MK1 Reptile is what we want to look at the most. Now, the tattoos, people, the tattoos, come on. He has a tat on his face. It's a bit... And the tattoos are getting crazy in Mortal Kombat 1. Everybody has tattoos. It's crazy. Damn near everybody. But... The face tat is different on reptile, I guess. I don't I don't know how I, how I feel about the tattoos, but the overall design, even with the tattoos, is fucking amazing. It has a green sash across. It has a green um the sash going I, I think these are sashes going down. Sash across the fucking chest and sash going down. I forgot what those are called if it's not called a sash. Everything about him just looks reptilian. Shoulder pads look reptilian. As you can see, it has the bony looking uh, reptilian exoskeleton look at the MKX design. And he also has it here. Uh, he has the hood, which is quite different for reptile if you ask me, because I've never seen a hooded reptile. He has the hood here. Some ninjas wear hoods. Not all of them. You got Ermac who wears a hood. Scorpion who occasionally wears a hood. And even Sub-Zero who was wearing a hood in one uh, iteration or another. But Reptile with a hood is something we haven't seen. So it's a nice, it's a nice change of pace. You know, it's not something that I've thought of. But it's a nice change of pace. It's, it's welcoming. His color scheme is great. Um, you act, you actually have human reptile who people have, have been asking for for a long time. Me personally, I never have asked for a human reptile. It's something that I didn't know I wanted until I got it. Now, granted, without the mask, it's a little bit. It's a little bit much. But I can't complain when the design looks so good. I cannot complain. And he is the best of both worlds. This is not his true form. It is only what he can shape shift into. He is the best of both worlds, literally. And how can you complain? He is literally beauty in the fucking beast, bro. It's crazy. Uh so with his newer design, we'll get to that. Or his newer uh, reptilian design, we'll get to that later. Um, but we'll compare this MKX. Also, um, let's go back to the split image. Of all four reptiles. So we got him, human skin reptile. It's a mixture of human skin reptile. Okay. And this reptile right here, if you ask me, compared with this reptile. If you don't know which reptile this is, it looks like just a regular dinosaur. I couldn't find any uh, clearer images of reptile in the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie, but that's what he looks like. It looks like Mortal Kombat 2021 with this one right here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, gosh. This one right here. Because of the fucking lips. The cliff lips. Yeah, I can see it very much. You combine this reptile from Shaolin Monks and Mortal Kombat Armageddon with this reptile right here. You will get this reptile right here. Now, this one right here, they still put the ninja fit on the lizard. It looks so fucking stupid. Oh my gosh, it looks so stupid. Look at the fucking horn on top of the head. Head not big. 
He just looks so fucking stupid. I don't know how to explain it. Some people prefer this design of Reptile. And it's like... No. Like, how could you? It looks so stupid. The horn on top of the head does not help him at all. But I don't know. You like what you like. Whatever was nostalgic to you is nostalgic, nostalgic to you. Okay. Now, the peak design after this. This one was good. It looked good. I digged it. This one was good as well. I digged it. This was the peak design to me. Mr. Uh, MKX Reptile. You had the opening mouth to where he could talk. The mask was there. But it opened for his face. It's like a um, unique thing that MKX Reptile had. Peak design for Reptile right here. If you asked me. Before this design. This design was... This is something right here. Okay. So let me talk about 2021 uh, Movie Reptile. At first, when I seen it, I was like, oh no, they're making him a giant lizard again. Or they're making him a lizard again. Well, a giant lizard. But the thing about it is... The way that they did... MK2021 Reptile. The way that he played out. I was happy with it. I was happy the way that he could only be beaten by a 3v1. <laughs> he was a threat. Now, you couldn't kill him with bullets, but for some reason you could kill him with a knife or uh, open him up with a knife. It's crazy. We're not even here to talk about that, though. We're here to talk about the simple fact that uh, this design, it was the lizard reptile. But it was a welcome one. I wish he didn't die as fast. But it was a welcome design. Considering that. He actually. 3v1. Some of the main characters of that movie. For a little while before he uh, met his end. This reptile right here. He owned a giant snake. <laughs> But the fact that they kind of took all these elements and added it to this reptile. And that's what it felt like to me. The fact that he is a lizard. It's been, repl uh, excuse me. It's been replicated into this reptile. The scaly skin and everything from this reptile has been transferred to this reptile. The fact that he's a ninja from this era of reptile with the human skin, it has been brought in. Okay. It's no longer a hybrid of the two, which uh, is shown in these three right here. But the lips are definitely from Mortal Kombat Shallow Monks. You got the sash here. I could spend a lot of time on Reptile. Because his design is just so... It's so... I don't know how to explain it. The tattoos, like I said, they're a bit much to me. But it's... Like, I don't care. His design is so fucking good. In this game. That I don't care. Regardless of the face. I will, if they could have made his face a little bit lizard-like. When it comes to... uh Without his mask... I wouldn't care. The fact that his design. Let's go back to this one. His design is so fucking good. When he sit there in low sweeps you. He uses his tail. And for a brief moment. You can see this little sash. Turn into a tail. And turn back. For a brief moment. It's a very welcome design. In my opinion. And it's better than the MKX design, which I very much favor over all the other designs. I'm like, yeah, this reptile is the best of both worlds. It's like the Mortal Kombat 9 design, but he can actually talk. Because the Mortal Kombat 9 reptile didn't even say a line. He had no lines. The 
Oh, what if I'm an X reptile had lines? Oh, excuse me. So that was uh oh god. Was I not capturing this? Oh, I was. I'm sorry, y'all. Did I fucking X out the? I did, or I didn't? Let's see. No, I didn't. Okay. What the hell happened, everybody? Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, the fact that he could. I don't know. He could talk with his mask. That was unique to me. Nobody else has been able to able to do that. His design was cool. I just I'm so happy with Reptile's design. Like he's went from just a palette swap to Oh, I forgot to add MK4 Reptile, which he was a lizard man there too. So I probably won't show a picture here. And yet, just like you know what, just for a, uh, just for archive purposes, I will show MK4 Reptile here. Oh, it's not showing. This is MK4 Reptile. My least. Okay, they had the Ninja Reptile right here too, by the way. If, as is alternate costume. Which is way the better design for Reptile. MK4's Reptile wasn't a bad design. It was just... So fucking weird to me. I don't know why it was so weird to me. The purple pants, is just it just throws everything off. Reptile has never worn purple. He's always been an all-green character. And the little bit of purple that he has just throws him off. And seeing a lizard man... Like he lizard, he literally looks like an edit of a, a politician that you see online. This is actually pretty cool. Like, like I said, I'm not a, a huge fan of the Mortal Kombat, uh, Mortal Kombat Four design, but to see an old costume from the uh, golden days of Mortal Kombat be brought back, I would 100% be okay with the Mortal Kombat Four reptile skin. I don't know why. I just would leave me alone. <laughs> okay, I changed my mind. You all. Uh, I'm going to go back. This is the Pika Reptile skin design. They both look like Chris Bosch, but fuck it. This is the Pika Reptile uh, design before Mortal Kombat 1's Reptile came out. You just can't beat it. The best of both worlds look is, is crazy. Both of these, the fact that he's able to shapeshift. It's just fucking crazy. And his fatalities are crazy. I spent more than fucking 15 minutes. Oh my god. Uh, but anyways. That's the motherfucking show. Reptile's design is crazy. I just. I can't get over it. 
the fact that they would make him actually have human skin again is very mind-boggling to me. After how many years they sat there and ignored the human skin and made him a lizard or human lizard hybrid is what they like to go with. And I was like, no, nah, fuck it. How about we make him a human on top but a lizard behind the curtains? You know, they basically made him fucking Fiona and Shrek. All right. Fiona before she changes into an ogre. That's what he reminds me of. But, uh, a fucking welcome design. I swear. It's crazy. That's a motherfucking show, though. I don't want to spend too much time on his design. Uh, 20 minutes is, I believe, is, it's almost too much time, but it's a welcome amount of time, too. So I'm going to end it there. I don't want to spend too much time on his design. I hope y'all enjoying these. Please leave a like on the video if you did enjoy these. Going down memory lane. Looking at these different designs with me. So. I can know if you were enjoying these videos. And uh, would like to see more. So I could do more with the videos. Y'all take care.